Hello and welcome back to Weekly News Highlights with me, Hasina Momtaz. I hope you all had a fantastic Eid and thank you for joining me. Here are your top stories for this week. Muslims across Bangladesh observe their biggest religious festival, Eid al-Futr, with prayers and celebratory feasts across the country. A major Eid congregation was held in the capital at the National Eid Gar ground adjacent to the Supreme Court building at 8.30 a.m. President Abdul Hamid Choudhury, as well as Dhaka City Mayor Sadiq Hussein Koka, attended the congregation along with many other senior politicians. The city was decorated ostensibly for the celebrations. Here in the UK, over 20,000 Muslims attended prayers hosted in Valentine Park in East London. At East London Mosque, which is the biggest mosque in Europe, five Jamaats were held hosting over 10,000 worshippers. In Brick Lane Mosque, four Jamaats were held. Both the Prime Minister, David Cameron, and the leader of the opposition, Ed Miliband, wished Muslims across the UK a joyous Eid celebration. Eid celebrations continued this week with the Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, hosting the annual Eid in the Square event on Saturday the 17th of August. The free event in London's Trafalgar Square features Nasheed artists, live entertainment, stalls, exhibitions and fun and festivities for all the family. This year featured a food festival where revellers were able to sample local delicacies from across the Muslim world such as Turkey, Lebanon and Morocco. Despite the fact that many decades have passed since the assassination, Sheikh Mujibur's killers are yet to be caught and punished. To mark the National Day of Mourning, the Oami League and its supporters organised an elaborate programme of events across the country, including a Milad Mehfil, Quran Kauni, feeding of the destitute and distribution of food and clothes amongst the poor and needy. As mentioned earlier in the programme, BNP Chairperson Khalid Azir celebrated her 69th birthday on Friday by cutting a cake at her Gulshan offices thronged by party leaders and activists. On the previous day, which was the actual day of her birthday, a special prayer was held at her residence to mark the occasion. A huge cake, weighing 69 pounds, was cut at around 9pm in the Gulshan offices. Several senior leaders of her party, including Mr R A Goni, Mirza Abbas, Abdul Moin Khan, greeted her at the function. Clad in a pink sari, Khalid Azir wore a beaming smile as the celebrations began. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has urged the people of Bangladesh to lead the country towards progress by uniting against those who had opposed Bangladesh's liberation in 1971. She also slammed BNP Chairperson Khalid Azir for celebrating her birthday on the 15th of August, which is a national day of mourning for the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Sheikh Mujibur was assassinated by army personnel on this date in 1975, along with many members of his family. Sheikh Hasina and her sister Sheikh Rahana were both abroad at that time and therefore survived the assassination. Sheikh Hasina voiced her criticisms of the opposition leader on Friday at an event held to mark the anniversary of the murder of her father. She also alleged that Khalid Azir is supportive of those who are against the liberation of the country. That rounds off our coverage of the top stories for this week. Thank you for watching and please do join me again at the same time next week. Allah Hafiz.